good afternoon guys so today um got legs today on this saturday and um i'm gonna post um a posing update real soon for you guys because i know i missed a week or two weeks actually because one for the la fit expo and two when i came back you know it was kind of like um i posted in one of the videos but it wasn't like a full one so I want to post a full one, so I'm going to post it and um, hit legs today. So I think actually today I want to squat last. I don't know. Don't know how I feel about it yet. Uh, but I kind of uh, still super sore from this week. Uh, <laughs> the workout with Big J really set me back. And um, you know, I got some, I got some, I got some good comments on it. And I got some negative comments on it. But I think there's always going to be negative comments about everything. You know, um, I guess I got negative comments about. The recovery purposes in, in terms of why I'm I'm training so uh, hard past failure and you know it, it's I guess it goes back to the fact that you guys need to have fun with it you guys need to be creative and do different things that and that when people come down and people want to train with you you can't always stick to your program you know because yeah you can you can stick to your program but at the end of the day it's just like you need to have fun with it you need to be just open-minded about everything so it's not like I train like that every day I you know it's once in a while if not like once in a year you know so I, I don't really train like that often and I just came off of a deload so I was feeling fresh and the the, uh, the workout was definitely good it was definitely um, a different form of intensity because I don't normally train like that but you know how it is when Big J comes down so uh, yeah I'm at the ch the the video was awesome, you know, I, I felt like I shouldn't have edited it, so I didn't edit it. I, I just went full, just all 48 minutes, and, and that's how it was. Um, I wanted to leave as much as I could in there, and uh, just, just a little different for you guys, but um, doing some foam rolling here, for some mild fascial release. I think I'm going to do a little bit of warm-up mobility and everything like that, and get right down to it. All right, guys. So a little different uh, commentary today. I thought I'd do some commentary outside. It's, it's, it's a beautiful day. So um, started this leg workout a little bit different, as I've stated. Um, started this leg workout with some leg press, some uh, squat press, actually. And as you see, my foot placement on the pad is fairly low, and um, you know, just testing my ankle mobility and everything like that. But I found out that I felt it a lot more on my quads, so I, I performed it like that. So I did three sets of uh, eight to 10 reps, going just light, very light and controlled. So that was it, and uh, I got a huge pump from that. So after that, I went on to some um, kind of stationary dumbbell lunges. Um, did one leg at a time, so eight to 12 reps, or actually 10 to 12 reps per leg. Uh, actually went up to 35 pounds on my last set, and you know, by this time, my, my quads are pumped. So, um, I definitely like it more than the traditional lunges. Just, just because, like, you know, when you're doing traditional lunges, um, you do, you know, you kind of alternate left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. And with this, you know, you can really just keep the pump on one leg at a time, and the burn is is real. You know, it's awesome. So, um, definitely no knee pain. I kind of advise you to kind of lean back if that makes sense when you're doing lunges so um, I like it a lot honestly can't go too heavy so just 35 pounds um, but next week I might move up depending on how I feel on it and then after that went to squats squats guys uh, so two quad movements then the squats and by this time I'm as weird because I used to squat last actually when Christian and I were working out um, a couple months ago, you know, maybe even a year ago, um, squatted uh, last, and I really liked it for a certain amount of time. And then, you know, we moved back to squatting first. So squatted last today. So just did sets of five. And as you see, I didn't lock out. I just pumped out five reps at a time, just straight five, and I went straight to the bottom to about. 75% of the way up and back down and I guess I'm, I'm training differently today because I'm kind of uh, testing it just testing to see how things feel um, as I go into this prep because I'm only six weeks or a little less than six weeks um, into my cut 
and I, I want to experiment as I go further into it because I want to know what really really works um, as opposed to um, mind muscle connection you know when, you're, when I'm bulking you know uh, I, I really just focus on strength and not really focusing that much on the mind muscle connection as bad as it sounds but now I am you know I'm focusing more on the mind muscle connection so I like the way this feels on the squats I don't I won't do it every time because I want to go a little heavier so I capped off my last set at 275 so did a set of 225 then I did a set of 245 then 275 so 275 for five reps and I was murdered you know I was I put, my quads are so pumped so after that, took off the knee sleeves, went on to some stiff-legged dumbbell deadlifts. Um, actually, first went on to uh, lying leg curls, then stiff-legged deadlifts. Now, uh, nothing special really with the lying leg curls. I like to um, go slow, and I don't like to go all the way down. I like to go about 80% of the way down, and it just works best for me. So, nothing special with that, but after that, went on to some stiff-legged dumbbell deadlifts, and... Um, I like this. I like this variation over barbells because um, the hand placement is very different. You know, you can put your hands, um, you know, kind of like diagonal or whatnot. But I like it definitely better than the barbell. And as you see, I'm not locking up. So when I'm hitting the deadlifts, I don't come all the way up and lock out. I go about 80% of the way up, just like what I did on squats today. So that was that. Then I did some uh, some calves. Finished off with some calves. Nothing special. Just I didn't record it, but I got the calves in and four sets of seated calf raises and four sets of standing calf raises. So that's gonna conclude this workout, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of the video. All right. So this is the result of hat hair. I've had a hat on all day, so that's why my hair is so flat. And I'm at the girlfriend's house right now. And I got flowers. What? <laughs> so I, had, I had to. Valentine's Day. Well, tomorrow's Valentine's Day. But I got some ceviche here with some Mexican tostadas. So I'm ready to dig in. I pretty much haven't eaten all day. And I had to get a leg workout still. I don't know how I did that. But going to... Uh, we're actually gonna cook tonight because we have some friends coming over and we're gonna make some uh, Some Hawaiian or kind of like Japanese style Bowls with sashimi so stay tuned for that because that's gonna be good So I'll see you all at the supermarket because I gotta go buy some stuff for the uh, The market so see you all there So first Get the ceviche, put it on the tostada. Mmm. So good. Feels so good to eat again. Alright guys, so just got home, and as you see, I bought a lot of sashimi. And um, while well, I was at uh, Ranch Market, 99 Ranch, it's kind of like an Asian market over here in Sugarland. And um, I was supposed to go to Chinatown, but apparently my friend told me that Chinatown, they shut off the whole block, because uh, well, this whole week is Chinese New Year's. And uh, well, Asians are very different from Americans, so the way that they celebrate New Year's is kind of like a, a whole week thing. So. I bought a lot of stuff, I had a lot of sashimi. I got some friends coming over, and Jess and I, and some friends, we're gonna cook something called pokey. So pokey is pretty much um, like a Hawaiian style uh, bowl, but with sashimi. So you get raw fish, and you, you blend sauces together, and you coat it over on rice, so it turns into a pretty, pretty much like a bowl, like a much better version of a burrito bowl. So that's what's going on right now. Had a lot of stuff, so I'll definitely keep you updated and show you guys how we prepare it. <laughs> okay, so uh, a couple weeks ago, Jess had a uh, birthday party, and uh, this Asian couple, which uh, my favorite Asian couple in the world, they're here at they're here at my house, 
and uh, Jess and I are kind of like doing a kind of like a double date deal and uh, I bought all this sushi so uh, Ann and Steven hello say hi and in Steve, Anna and Steven are here and we're going to make pokey. So we're starting the preparation now. Super hungry. And uh, I'm gonna be the sushi chef for today. All right. Is this, is this raw, bro? All right, so we got tuna here. It's too thick. Me gonna cut it in cubes, man. Look at that, they're cutting skills. <laughs> He's filming. Sushi man. Alright, so my little brother is actually filming right now, so the person, that, the person that's talking in that that uh, accent is my little brother. Uh I don't know who you're talking about. <laughs> what accent are you literally talking about, mate? Smart, is this too thin, bro? Yeah. Looks like you just froze it. It's like smooth when you cut it. <laughs> it's <like> butter, bro. <laughs> you want to eat a piece? Alright guys, so the fish has all been cut, ready to eat. Check this out. We got albacore tuna, we got red tuna, is this yellow tuna? Yellow tuna. No, yeah, tuna. I don't know. Saku tuna? No, that's tuna. Okay, so this is regular tuna, albacore tuna, and Atlantic salmon. The ladies have peeled all the shrimp, and it is ready to eat. Let's do it. Live action! Yee! I'm gonna cut these. Bowl number one consists of ground beef, salmon, and tuna for my little brother. For a lot of rice. Alright guys, so this is currently what I am having. I'm having eight ounces of tuna. Now 3.5 ounces of salmon in my bowl. And then, for the last bowl, I will have one ounce of albacore tuna. So here is my fish that I have. Now I'm gonna add some cucumbers and green onions. All right, so the bowl is almost complete. I added a little bit of sriracha mayo, some imitation crab meat, some uh, kind of like sweet Korean sauce, some masago, and uh, some green onions. So I'm gonna put a little bit of Chili powder on there also. Here we go. Is that your authentic Asian? Check. Check that out, guys. But it's not done yet. So, get a lid here. Gonna close this up. Put that the caviar. Alright. No trolls. Got the caviar. And I will shake it up. So, everything. Is dispersed evenly. Or you can make it look like that. Yeah, or you can make it look like that. If you're not tracking macros, you can do that. <laughs> I'm trying to get shredded, guys. It's okay. She's, <laughs> she's trolling me. All right, guys. So, in a few moments, I will show you the final product. All right, guys. So here is my final product. We have Jessica's bowl. The best. Looks so good. We have Steven's bowl. Damn, that looks so good, bro. Ready? We have Anne's bowl. Yours are so much prettier than mine. And then we have my brother's bowl. I'm so much prettier. Awesome seaweed salad. After after about an hour of preparation, we're ready to eat finally. So hungry. Let's chow down. Alright guys, so just finished showering and just Finished doing all the dishes. There's a ton of dishes because we cooked so much. Um, but the dinner, as you see in the video, it was delicious. Uh, the, definitely the video did not do it justice of how good it was. I was craving pokey <clears throat> and so was the girlfriend. So 
it was definitely good to do something homemade and uh, a little costly, but definitely more cost, cost efficient than going out to eat and definitely uh, more relaxing because you get to stay home. Um, but right now, I am about to do a mask with my little brother before we go to bed because a lot of you guys ask me how I get my clear skin. So this is what I use here. Um, I, I usually use just a normal foam cleanser just to wash the face before a mask. And I like to do the mask kind of two days, two days out of a week or so. So here it is guys. Um, it is called Origins. Here it is, Clear Improvements. And it is a black charcoal mask and a clear spore. So that's it for this video. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. So that's going to conclude this whole day. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you all tomorrow.